In April 2019, our precious baby girl Regan launched herself into our already busy and hectic life. She was to be our very last of six wonderful children. We knew that she was likely to have Down syndrome from our 12-week scan and bloods, and we'd also had private nip testing too. We spent much of her fif- first 15 months in hospital. She was born with heart problems that led to open heart surgery and respiratory illnesses, which saw multiple dashes back to hospital and ambulances and sometimes staying in hospitals far from home and for long periods of time. Regan had been fed with a feeding tube through her nose since she was two weeks old. She had gone into heart failure just a week or so after leaving hospital as a newborn and she tired quickly when feeding. We hoped it would be a temporary measure until she'd recovered from her big heart operation. Unfortunately, she continued to be sick. She really struggled with breastfeeding and bottle feeding. She was always choking on medicines, milk and purees. She continued going into hospital due to needing extra oxygen. It finally felt like the doctors started to take my concerns about her feeding seriously, as we were convinced that the feeding was the problem that kept causing all of her respiratory illness. She was being sick all the time, and the laundry was ridiculous, even on top of what we were used to as a busy household of eight. In May 2020, we finally had a feeding tube surgically fitted to her tummy. Just a few days later, we left hospital without the stickers and the tube stuck all over her face, which had made her little sensitive face so sore. The little monkey had become an absolute pro at pulling the previous type of feeding tube out of her nose too, which really didn't help. Things did improve substantially for her as far as her quality of life. She became much more mobile, but she could now wear her feeding pump and a little bottle of her specialised formula on her back instead of sitting in her chairs for hours on end every day waiting for her feeds to finish. She soon learnt to crawl and just before her second birthday she took her first steps. She did, however, continue to be sick. We had already stopped feeding her anything orally as per guidance from her medical team, so her surgeon in Oxford suggested that we used another type of feeding tube that would go through and past her stomach and deposit her milk into the middle of her small intestine. This worked out brilliantly. Within 24 hours of the tube change, her sickness stopped. She hasn't had any hospital admissions with breathing problems since, and she now enjoys life as a happy and healthy two-year-old toddler. We have lots to do as far as sterilising bottles, tubes and medicine syringes each day and we have to take daily care of her site where her tube goes into her tummy but she gets to play happily and is growing and thriving just as she should be. Regan stays at home with me at the moment as we are in the process of looking for a fabulous nursery that can safely support her feeding and give her the very best in terms of early development. She has weekly online therapy classes on Zoom with a local charity, Thomas's Fund. She loves learning about animals and books. We also try to meet up as often as possible with other families with toddlers so that she can start to grow relationships with children of her own age. We get out and about with her the same as all her older siblings. We just clip her feeding bag to the car seat or to her pushchair handle. We've also just bought an electrical call box for the car to ensure that her milk and medicines can stay fresh with us for a full day out. We, she even went swimming for the first time last week. We just had to be really careful that she didn't swallow any water. Having Regan in our lives is absolutely amazing. She brings so much joy and happiness. She is so funny and really cute too, although she has definitely inherited a little bit of sass from her big sisters. We did worry when she was sick a lot when she was little, but we have a great medical team that support both her and us in being her parents. She is progressing really well developmentally and is very rarely ill now. She has taught me to be calmer, happier and to enjoy the simple pleasures in life and not to take anything for granted. When you step out of the crazy whirlwind that many of us have in our lives and take a moment to slow down to wait for somebody who needs a helping hand, you really do get to see what is important and really learn to treasure it.